If phoenixes are real, it's this guy. Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the common room. Today we are opening a very special package that I have been waiting for for several months. It finally came in and I am so excited to open it with you guys. Today we are going to be unboxing our very own Fox the Phoenix. So this package that I'm about to open with our wonderful Fox the Phoenix. Now I ordered him back in September and he's actually handmade. So I knew it was gonna take a little while to get him in, but with everything that was happening in the world, it did take even longer than I had planned. So it took about four months to get him. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting so long. And from the pictures that I've seen, he's just beautiful. So let's go ahead and get him open. I haven't opened him yet, so I, I really don't know if he's in good condition. I'm a little worried because he's been all over the world and it took so long. Fingers crossed that he's good. <laughs> I'm kind of worried about using this. I don't understand this. I'll use it a little. He's nicely wrapped up. So he's covered up in a bunch of bubble wrap that's been kind of taped around him. So that's a good sign. Hopefully it kept him safe on his long journey. So I got him out of the bubble wrap and he's just kind of folded up into a little ball. But he is so soft. I try to I don't want to hurt him. Oh. oh my goodness. I'll get him undone and show you all of him, but look at his face. Did he just break? Did he seriously just break? I don't think so. Okay, so we had to stop recording for um, just a second because I thought I broke him and I was terrified. So his little feet or his little talons were also wrapped up in bubble wrap and I lifted him up and this fell out. And I was like, that's one of his claws and it just fell off of him. But we unwrapped his feet and I think this is an extra one just in case something does happen to him because he's got all of them on both of his feet. So didn't break him, thank goodness. So I'm gonna try very carefully to open him up because now I'm just terrified. So he's wrapped up just in a cute little ball. He's so, he looks so tiny, but I know he's not. He's so pretty. So we're gonna try to get him set up and fluff him out so we can see what he actually looks like. Look how pretty he is. He's so soft. And I'm just waiting for him to turn his head and look at me because he looks so realistic. Now he is very fragile. So we kind of took him out and got him set up because we were terrified we were gonna break him. I did read the care instructions that come in the package and they did send us a spare toe. So didn't break him, he is good. But he is just absolutely stunning. He has, so some of the information that I got off of his description is he's made out of faux fur, but the fur, is so crazy all these different colors and it just meshes together so well and he has i'm gonna put some images up in the video so you can see him completely sprawled out because his wings come out and he has all these little they feel like some kind of foam maybe but on his feathers and then he has those crazy toes and he's just absolutely beautiful.
His face, again, is so realistic. Just look at how incredible he looks. He looks just like Fox when he's perched in Dumbledore's office in the movies. He looks so good. Where are we going to put you on my shelves? Because I think I definitely want him where you guys can see him every day because he's too pretty to be put away for just me to see. I've never seen any other replica of Fox that looks as realistic as this one does. Again, I will leave a link for this artist in the description of my video, but I have definitely come to realize that some of the most quality pieces that I have in my collection come from some small shops that I found on Instagram, on Etsy. Now he does come with a little bit of a hefty price tag. He was $400, but the quality of this product is amazing. I always get a little hesitant making purchases that are so big, but I saw him on some other videos and on some beautiful Instagram posts. And I specifically saved up to buy him because I knew that I wanted him for my collection. And even though I was definitely hesitant and I was a little worried, especially with how far away that he was being shipped from, I couldn't be happier. He's beautiful. He is so realistic, such great quality, and I'm just so excited to add him to my collection. I know for myself, my favorite part about him is definitely the beautiful face. It's just so well done, but I would love to know what you guys think about him. Is he something that you could see yourself investing in to add to your collection? As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.